Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lewis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and I hope you guys are doing well. In this Blender tutorial, we'll be looking at an area of Blender people usually don't check out. So with the advent of everything node project, um, it, it, it brings eye to Blender node, node editor. So um, one area people don't really um, check out is the texture node editor. So you might have seen this when scrolling and wonder what this does. So what I'm going to be doing today is kind of show you how that works. Okay, so to um, show it, um, this node comes in handy when you're working with texture painting or when you're sculpting. So you can use this to generate custom alphas. You can use this to, to tweak your images um, with the node setup. So let's get started. Um, let's first start with the sculpting. So we'll just use a simple UV sphere okay so to add more subdivision i am going to add the multi res modifier and then i'll subdivide this a couple of times okay so now we can go into the sculpt mode and now we can just draw on it if you hit the n key um, and we can make the space bigger so we can easily find it and if you go to tools um, you will see this uh, menu here so we can go ahead and select the texture and hit new texture okay um, we can also just leave it we'll just leave it for now okay so right now if we move our, along this thing you see nothing happening um, to be able to activate it you have to switch to the texture node editor then you have to switch to brush and you will notice that we have a new texture from the one we just created by hitting new okay and now we can um, click on use node. So what happens is it generates a node setup for us and we can actually start paint, um, sculpting with this. So if we just draw on this, you can see it working. For you to be able to preview it, um, this area of Blender is not um, really um, working as expected because you don't get live preview, but there's a workaround to that. So for us to be able to preview textures, um, we need to click on stencil okay so you can see a preview of what is happening here and we can adjust um, this to create um, cool stencils or alphas to use as uh, brush textures okay um, the great thing about node is its scalability so you can um, go to add node and you can add um, several patterns you can add textures you can import your own image and kind of combine everything together so let's quickly create uh, a nice example um, i will go ahead and bring out the brick so you can go ahead and search bricks okay so this is the brick node setup and we can plug it in so right now we um, try to preview it right here and we cannot see anything um, so a way to refresh it is just jump back into tab mode and come back and you can see the brick so we can just draw on this and you can see it works okay so the great thing about node like like i said it's, it's scalability so you can customize it and create a very unique output um, so let's do that i am going to move this aside and if you hit shift a um, which is kind of um, unified in the whole of blender to be able to add new object um, we can go ahead and add a mix rgb and then we can import or we can just add a noise texture okay and we set this to add so you have several blending modes which you could play with um, i'm just going to set it to add and if we reset it you can see we have them combined and we can create um, like unique looking stencils so including with the brick we can see the noise affecting it's kind of creating a nice effect and since this is a node setup you can easily go to color invert and then you can invert the texture and it's going to do the opposite effect and of course blender has the subtract direction and add direction so you have all of that um to your in your hand so um so this is basically the ideology behind it um so basically i'm going to show you things you should um, bear in mind um, importantly definitely you want to be able to scale or move your textures and rotate it um, that is quite different from the usual cycles node setup where, wherever you can use the mapping node to be able to do all of this but with the 
texture node you just go to distort and import like scale so once we have the scale here we can play with the the size of the image so if we set this to five and refresh it you can see we should be able to have, see more grids so let's increase this set this to six so we have more grids so you really have a um, lot of customization you can do here um, this area of blender is not all re really being worked on but it's there because um, it would be cool to have stuff like blow nodes um, and other cool filters and stuff like that um, but this is basically the mindset to it and like I said it works also for texture painting so to use this for texture painting is just basically the same thing let's go to our shader editor create a new material um, create a new texture and we can set this to image texture let's just quickly create an image set this to 20 by 48 and just switch the color and okay now we can switch to the texture mode and just paint so you can um, easily select the texture which you had previously or you could just hit new to create a new texture um, no um, texture setting or something like that so if you hit new and we go to texture node um, you can hit new um, use node and you'll be able to see that or you could switch between several and you can name them here you can do anything you want so uh, let's use this and we can just paint in the texture right inside the viewport and of course you still have everything like the stencil you can and different mapping technique and everything and this works also for image add image you go to input get the um, image you know to plug it into the color and load in your image so let's just load in a quick um, fabric okay and we can just go ahead and paint this so if we want to change the color um, we could do this um, different ways because this is a not setup we could use the hue and just adjust this and it gives you a different color so the there's no limit to this so I hope this was um, this info was helpful or useful to you so you can just try it out um, hopefully um, they will probably improve on the current because currently I don't think it has undergone any update from the last time I used it um, there are a lot of cool notes that are really handy especially for using texture painting so like some cool filters um, blur nodes and other stuff so um, that's it so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial bye bye for now see you next time